Post-traumatic stress disorder is a growing serious health issue in this country. So there is a tremendous need for people entering the field of medicine to really recognize the invisible wounds of PTSD. And no one knows this issue better than the international expert in the field who's going to join me in just a moment. Frank Ockberg, he's been a trailblazer in the field of PTSD for years. He's a clinical professor in psychiatry at MSU. He's the former mental health director for the state of Michigan. Ockberg was the editor of the first treatment text on PTSD. He was on the team that wrote and revised the diagnosis of PTSD. He's often called on to help in major disasters, the tsunami, tsunami rather, in Southeast Asia, and the tragedy in Columbine. Frank is here with us now. First and foremost, though, Frank is a teacher, and that's why he has come up with this unique program where he partners medical students like yourself with people who've grappled with the issue of PTSD. Frank, welcome. Let's talk, uh, first of all, about PTSD. Um, you know, some people might say, well, you know, what are the symptoms? What are some things that you'll see in somebody who's suffering from this? The first thing is, to give the diagnosis, you have to know that a person has lived through an extraordinary event. And at the time of the event, they felt terrified or horrified or utterly helpless. And, and we're not talking about the kind of events that are ordinarily stressful, um, like, like going through the death of a loved one, the normal, natural death. There has to be something about the sight and sounds and, and, and the smell of it all that gets lodged deep within you. And then, for at least a month, and sometimes for years and, and sometimes for a lifetime, you have three different sets of symptoms. The first is a problem with memory. You know, if, we don't know that much about how normal memory works. It's, it's lodged all over the brain. You can dial up a memory, sometimes with difficulty. But these traumatic memories come back when you don't want them to. And sometimes they are so intense that you think it's happening now. You don't have a time sense. And for the soldier, the smell of the battlefield is right there, even though it's a year later. For the woman walking into an elevator or a parking lot, it's the scene of an abduction and a rape at, at gunpoint. And it feels like it's now. It, it wakes you up at night. Uh, so there are nightmares. There are flashbacks. And sometimes there's just a vague feeling. You can't put your finger on it. It's very subtle. And it takes a while to remember, oh my god. It's that time of year I'm dealing with the feelings of being shot in my front yard at 11 o'clock at night. Um, that's one set of problems. The, the second, in, in a way, is almost the opposite. You, you have emotional anesthesia. You feel numb. I, I was part of a team that interviewed dozens of Michigan Vietnam veterans 12, 13, 14 years afterward. And, and they would say things like, I, I know I love my daughter. Doc, I just don't feel it the way I should. So there's an experience of a lack of feeling across the board. And, and then people change the way they live. They, they avoid doing things that used to be a source of pleasure or, or a source of social interaction. And they are avoidant and withdrawn. And, and, and they know it. And sometimes with encouragement, they want to come out of that. And sometimes they would rather be left alone. So, so you become marginalized. And the last part is uh, you can think of it metaphorically as having too much adrenaline. Uh, you know the, the uh, sympathetic nervous system responses aren't all about adrenaline, per se. But because of this lowered threshold, for anxious arousal, you don't sleep well, you're irritable, you don't concentrate. Uh, you're not necessarily paranoid, but you're very, very vigilant and on the lookout for danger. And not necessarily when something triggers a reminder of the original event. Those three clusters of problem, the episodic re-experiencing of the original event, the numbing and the avoidance and the anxious arousal are PTSD.